Hello and welcome to the microwave engineering lecture titled Two Port Networks. In this lecture we will learn about two port networks and also about matrix and circuit conversions. Two port networks are the most common networks in microwave engineering and are simply the 2x2 two two special cases of all the other networks that we have looked at. Here is the 2x2 two impedance matrix, the 2x2 two two scattering matrix, the 2x2 two two admittance matrix, and the 2x2 two two transmission matrix. We can convert between any two port network parameters by using the appropriate conversion table. Now we'll learn how to cascade impedance matrices for two port networks. Here we have ZA, which is an impedance matrix and also a two port network, and is connected in series with ZB, which is an impedance matrix and is also a two port network. Notice that we still have V1, I1, V2, and I2, but also we have voltages and currents for each of the impedance matrices. Now we can combine the matrix ZA and ZB to a single matrix by just adding the individual impedance elements for each component. We can also cascade Y matrices for two port networks. It is very easy to obtain a combined Y matrix when the admittance networks are connected in a parallel configuration as shown here. Here you can see that we still have the current I1, the voltage V1, the current I2, the voltage V2, and we also have individual voltages and individual currents for each of the two port networks. As I said before, Combining these Y matrices into a single one is as simple as just adding the individual elements of each of the networks. Now we will learn how to cascade S matrices. Here we have a scattering matrix A which relates V1 minus and V2 plus and another scattering matrix B, which relates V2 minus with V3 plus, and we want to combine them to create a single scattering matrix that combines V1 minus with V3 plus. We can cascade these scattering matrices in series, and this will be the schematic. Now, in order to combine them, we need to use what is called a red heifer star product, which is given by this symbol and is equal to this expression. Now we'll learn how to do matrix to circuit conversion. For reciprocal networks, it is very easy. If we have this impedance matrix, then the equivalent circuit will be given by this T network. If we have an admittance matrix, then the equivalent circuit will be equal to this pi network. Now to convert from circuit to matrix is a little bit more tricky. However, we can rearrange the circuit to get combinations of known configurations. For example, we have this Bridget T network and we want to find the admittance parameters. We can split this circuit into two and treat this as a parallel connection of two circuits. This T network connected in parallel with this simple network. Now we can find the impedance matrix 
of the T-network and the admittance matrix of the Y-network. Now, as you recall previously, a parallel connection is done in terms of admittance Y, so the first network needs to be inverted. So we're going to invert the impedance matrix and then we're going to add it to the admittance matrix. After some algebra, we arrive to this expression. And this is how you do the circuit to matrix conversion.